Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do a check-in with um, what's going on with your person. This will be a very specific scenario. It's either going to resonate or it's not. So only take it if it does um, and only take the messages that resonate as this is a general reading. So we're going to dive right in and just start by taking a look at what is going on for your person. This may resonate for you as well in the reverse. So just take the messages as they fit. So let's see what's going on for your person right now. What is going on in their physical world? What's going on in their physical world right now? Well, things are definitely changing. Things are in the process of shifting gears kind of a little bit under the surface, but in a massive way. And we're getting the Nine of Swords with the Knight of Cups. So what's happening here is it's like, I feel like this is, your person is waiting for the right time to approach you with an offer of love. Um, but in the meantime, what's happening here is they're a little bit restless. They're a little bit, um, uh, like, it's like they can't quite make the offer yet. But what's happening here is this person, it's like they can't sleep at night. It, you know, it's almost like they may be trying to bide their time, wait for the right time. And in the meantime, they're trying to slay their mental dragons here with this uh, nine of swords. And it's almost as though there is a... Um, almost like they can't quite make the offer yet however they're just waiting for the moment to do this so what is, what are they thinking about what's going on right now about this connection we have the six of swords the eight of wands and the three of pentacles um i totally forgot to mention guys by the way um probably saw on my posts I just received the actual proof of my oracle deck which I'm so excited about I know many of you are excited as well um, I'm going to be debuting it in the extended for this for the first time uh, where I'm going to be using it you'll get a glimpse as to how to use it it's actually part of a larger system it's not just an oracle deck it's a it's an incredible tool that's been almost two years in the making that I can't wait to launch and release for you all as a way for it's just such a powerful tool to help you on your growth journey and in your understanding of situations so um, if you're interested in getting a glimpse and this resonates obviously then it will be in the extended as well so um, so what's happening here what's on their mind is it's like this person has been clearly almost moving on. This is, I feel almost as for some of you, if they've been um, in the process of kind of going to a new place, maybe they're in the process of moving, uh, traveling. Maybe they are um, in the process of making a big giant leap, big change in their life. And it's almost as though they, they've done all they can on their side of the, on their side of the relationship for the, in, but in terms of like, they've done all they can at this point in terms of work, the rest is going to need to be figured out together. How are they feeling about what's going on right now? Three of swords, ace of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like they're ready. They're, part of what they're doing right now is they're gaining their strength um, and that there's some inter a little bit of interference here that's preventing them from um, I think they have a lot to tell you about all the things that they've been doing. I feel like they've been doing a lot of work on themselves. I think they've been um, working really hard. They, I'm getting a sense that if this person feels, if they're, you know, of course, leaving a relationship behind, this is what they're leaving behind there. I do feel a sense of responsibility over maybe family, taking care of the, the family unit, um, taking care of responsibilities. 
You know, it's like if they're making a major change in their life, it's like they're wrapping up things to leave them in a nice, it's like clean up before you leave. Um, it's like that, it's like that um, feeling of, you know, when you're done the day and you finished everything up and you're looking at the dishes in the sink and you're like, all right, I just got to clean up the dishes. We've already eaten. It's already complete. Everyone's already gone to bed, but like, I just want to clean up so that I can start tomorrow fresh with a clean kitchen. It's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. And so I feel as though there's, they're kind of in this energy of feeling really hopeful and excited that you're going to be able to see that they have as well transformed in a pretty major way. And let's add to this here in terms of what's going on in their physical world. Tell me why they have the six of uh, swords here, the star. Yeah, they've been really focused on um, doing their healing in order to align with their path. I think they're very hopeful with whatever's shifted in their lives. Maybe they moved on from a job. Maybe they've moved on from the relationship, a relationship or a situation. Because you see how the swords have been removed here, but the heart is bandaged. So in the emotions, there is, it's like this feeling of disappointment, taking care of responsibilities, but there's a sense of relief here. And um, I feel like this is a person who, in the process of throughout their healing, it's almost like they, they may want to explain what it is that interfered with them offering you the cup of love. It's almost like this person has really um, addressed why they didn't take the big love before. You know, whether this is a new person, whether this is um, an, a person you already know, um, I just get this sense that there is a lot of excitement to show up in the world to offer love, having learned some new skill sets. Right? It's almost like there's an intensity around where they're going. Because here in the near future, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So we have two cards here about wish fulfillment, dreams, hopes. And let's add to this. King of Swords. What's on their mind? They don't want you to get away. They don't want all of this work to have gone for nothing, right? Where it's almost as though they're, they're afraid you've slipped out of their grasp. There's a desire here to communicate, possibly apologize. This could be a person who in the past maybe was so focused on work, 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 that they didn't realize what they were about to lose. Tell me more. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles gets the Hierophant, and what get and there's the emotions, the hopes, the not. Wow. So it's the Five of Wands, the Four of swords and the knight of swords dang look at how many knights we have here i feel like this is a person who's gonna come tell it like it is really quickly when it's the right time I feel like this is a person who really wants to show you how they have um, 
grown. Could sense some competition too. This is a person who could sense other people around you. Energetically and spiritually. That may not have the love intention that they do. I just keep getting this, like you have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands along with the Knight of Cups. I think this is a person who wants to come and make an offer for you before other people come in. Yeah, I just keep getting this feeling that this is a person who has been doing a lot of soul growth, um, a lot of healing, um, maybe counseling, therapy, you know, mentorship, whatever it is. And I feel like all of a sudden they feel like They hope the love wins out. So if you have other options coming in, maybe they're very charming, maybe they say the right things, but I just get this feeling almost like this person doesn't want to miss the boat with you. And they feel like maybe they've taken a little bit too long on their healing. And all of a sudden it's almost like, oh crap, I have to do this now. I have to do this now. Or, I'm, or it's going to be too late. What actions is this person contemplating taking right now? What actions is this person contemplating taking regarding your connection? Yeah, here it is. Yes, yeah, look at We have all four knights right here. Knight of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Eight of Cups. They're very sincere. There is some sort of conflict potentially here between you or maybe just within your person. Maybe the, if there was past conflict between the two of you, it's like he, this person was kind of waiting for the conflict to die down before approaching you. But now they're like, oh, crap, did I wait too long? Oh, my gosh, did I wait too long? And again, I keep getting the sense, especially with the sense of responsibility. Like they could be finally taking action to go towards their happiness and walk away from a past person in order to come approach you. See how he's walking away. She's left here. The kids are here. The kids are here. There's a lot of like children, child energy. So it could be almost like they're not wanting to rush in too fast. They don't want to come in too heavy handed. They don't want to come in too aggressively. They're very sincere but there is a part of them that really feels like, have I been too, have I taken too long? Is this taking too long? Because I do feel like this person has made major changes. There's big cycles ending, but they've been very responsible for cleaning up whatever they're leaving behind in a, in a way that then will allow them to come forward fully with you. So that's, Interesting. So I'm going to head over to the extended here in a moment. And in the extended, we're going to go more in depth what they're thinking about specifically with you, what they're afraid of, what lessons they're learning. Um, we're going to demo this deck on what factors are influencing them at this time. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to leave you with a final message 
regarding your person. This could be guidance for them, you or both of them. Um, so with that, also there is the relationship kit for January is available, which is a series of three videos that pertain to the relationship energies of the month. Um, I don't post them anywhere else, so it's a little bundle of my three most popular types of videos, and that will be coming out for February here shortly. But what is the final message for this connection? Oh, interesting. Growth, balance, delight. See, this is someone who's been getting mentored. They're learning new ways. They're ascending. They're growing. They're trying to find some balance. And they're also saying to count your blessings, enjoy life, take pleasure in the simple things, take time to relax, set boundaries with your work, be willing to learn from others, and always expect the best. So again, I feel like this person is learning how to find a balance, make sure they do make time to relax, rest, not be so extreme in what they do. Or maybe this is obviously guidance for you as well. So with that, I'm going to head over to the extended. And um, until next time, I send you so much love. Bye.